Hey, so here we're going to be talking about uh, one of my favorite concepts in this area. It ends up being an incomplete pass, but still a good concept in the red zone. It's called uh, spot or snag. And so what it's going to be, you can interchange these routes a little bit as far as who runs them. You're going to have a corner route paired with uh, kind of this, this kind of, I don't know, angled hitch, like this this spot route here or snag route, and then you've got a flat from the backfield. So it's one of those that creates uh, very tough for the defense to cover all of those. It also does, this is something that's brought up a lot that I'll talk about quite a bit with some of these, uh, you know, too high shells coming back into vogue, is the, the idea of a high-low read and kind of what does that mean. So this is a really clear example of what that means, so I wanted to run through this. Um, and, and like I said, you can, you can interchange these. A lot of times you'll run the corner from there and then the snag from the inside, but instead we've got here, here. And so this is going to be end up being an incomplete pass to uh, MVS on the corner route. We're going to talk about why, how we get there. You know, I'll clear that, I guess. Uh, we're going to talk about how we get there, why that throw goes where it does. So he's sending... I think I had Jones run that. Jones does not run that flat. I drew that up wrong. Let's do that again. Corner, snag, flat, and you've got a three on three here. So it's pretty clear. And what you're going to do, so you talk about the high-low. Okay, what's the high-low? All right. You're reading this guy right here. And Roger's already in the act of throwing. So we'll look at, uh, let's go right before he decides to throw. There he is. He's setting. All right. Why is he setting? Where is he throwing? All right, we're reading this guy here creating a high-low read on that guy there. As you can see, and if that's run correctly, which MVS does it, and you can tell pre-snap that he's kind of got the angle on there, he's got the angle on that guy. So he can get to the corner. That corner's not going to be able to undercut it. He's playing outside. MVS has outside contain, which means you're reading that guy. Let's circle him in a different color so he's a little more clear. There we go. Got him in pink. So it's all hinges on that guy. What does he do? So you've got the flat rod underneath. And he's kind of in a, a no-win situation here. And it's compressed, so the, the throw has to be nice if you're doing, like, say, a smash concept in the middle of the field. The spacing is slightly different, and the read gets uh, – you, you can make it a little, little easier. It doesn't have to be quite that quick. But here, you've got to do it quick because the space is condensed. But you're reading that guy. And so you're saying, okay, is he playing the flat or is he playing the corner? Because if he's, if he's fading up on the flat, that means my guy here, who is outside leverage, I can throw to him. He's gonna have he's gonna have it on him, so this guy cannot fall back underneath here. If this guy falls back under the corner route, that means I've got Lazard in the flat. So that's the high low read. You're taking this guy here and you're giving him a high route and a low route. You're seeing which one he takes and then you're throwing to the one that he doesn't take. Uh, you know, it's more complicated than that. Football is always more complicated than that, but it's also just as easy as that. You're reading that man. What's he doing? So here, Rogers is set. He's getting ready to throw. This guy is on the flat. Because, again, no win situation. If he's not in the flat, that's a walk-in touchdown. He's on the flat, which means the throw goes to the corner. And it does not uh, not end up being complete. You know, it go, kind of goes back shoulder to the inside. Tough catch. Doesn't go to the back pylon. And uh, and MVS is not able to come up with it. But you hear something like a high-low read, which, again, you hear, you'll hear a lot with the two high shells, and that's what a lot of West Coast offenses, the old West Coast offenses, were based around the split safety looks. And you're trying to high-low these guys with smash and drive and all of these names you may know or may not know. Uh, that's, that's what you're talking about. You're high-lowing, you're, you're keying on a guy, you're seeing what he does, and you're throwing to where he's not.